Have you ever wondered why when you hit your elbow and then you rub it, all of a sudden the pain goes away? Why is that? It's not just an old wives tale, it's science. How a person experiences pain is extremely complex. I'm gonna explain something called the gate theory of pain. It's how we take a non-painful stimulus to override something painful. In as simple terms as possible, I'm going to try to explain this gate theory. Nerves have two different types of fibers and how we perceive sensation. One type is called C fibers that are small diameter fibers. The other type are larger diameter fibers that translate mechanical stimulus, like rubbing. So stimulation from these fibers can actually block the gate on these smaller diameter fibers to the brain that transmit pain. That's why things like rubbing a cramped leg, putting ice on a sprained ankle, or scratching an itch reduces pain. It's not just physical stimulation either that can close the gate. Psychological factors can also play a role. That's why some athletes that are playing an intense game can power through pain during the adrenaline rush, but then later experience the pain more intensely after the game is over. Or why soldiers in a battle can continue to power through injuries and fight. That's because these gates are also controlled by neurotransmitters and endorphins can control how those gates are closed. Back to my bonus question from yesterday. How do we utilize these concepts from the gate theory to treat people with chronic pain? One thing that we do in spine surgery is something called spinal cord stimulation. And spinal cord stimulation is not new. This technology has been around for over 50 years. But as medicine has advanced, so has technology in SCS. We can place implants over the spinal cord to override our body's perception of pain. This helps treat people with chronic back and leg pain. It utilizes this gait theory to tell our brain that we no longer feel that pain. Kind of cool, huh? Older technology and spinal cord stimulation would make patients feel a tingly sensation instead of pain. And newer advances in medicine, such as the HFX IQ technology, can make patients feel nothing. It's pretty cool how science has come so far to help treat patients with chronic pain. And I am glad to be able to have this technology available to treat my patients. If you experience chronic back and leg pain, and for whatever reason, surgery is not an option for you, Ask your doctor if this technology may be appropriate.